after completing a project if you want to conduct a presentation to a client you have two options you can either use a still image or you can use an animation but if you use a still image you have to provide a number of stills from various angles to give a better understanding of the project an animation is more powerful than a still image because an animation is made up of a number of stills called frames so instead of providing a number of stills from various angles you need to provide only a single short movie of the animation to the client but generally we have to make use of a professional software such as 3ds max lumion rhino etc to create a high quality animation and the entire process of creating such an animation is time consuming and tedious so in this video i'm going to introduce a tool that is available right within autocad using which you can create a convincing animation all these things are more is coming up so stay tuned before exploring the topic i request all of you to subscribe to my youtube channel sabir cat if you haven't subscribed already and hit the bell icon to get instant updates on my future video uploads thank you i would like to conduct a presentation of this house project with the help of a camera that moves around the subject so i'll change the visual style to wireframe i'll switch over to the top view now i am supposed to specify the information about the camera and the target both these objects can be either fixed at a point or it can be moving along a path now i want my target to be located at a particular point and it is fixed and i want the camera to move around a circular path so i'll create a circle with a center radius option and i'll pick the center point somewhere over here now i am asked to specify the radius i'll give 3000 Next I'll switch over to southwest isometric view. Now I'm going to give a command with which I can create the animation. The command is any path. But before giving any path command, I would like to move this circular path straight up through a distance of 300 cm because I want my camera to be slightly elevated from the xy plane. So I'll click on move command, select the circular path. This is a base point. Keep the cursor in the positive z axis direction. Then I'll type three hundred. Next, I'll give any path command. Now I'm asked to define the camera as well as the target. The camera can be a point or it can move along a path. In this case, I want the camera to move along the circular path, and the target can also be a point and it can also move along a path. In this case, I want the target to be at a point. So first of all, I'll define the camera. Click on Select Object option here and select the camera. Now it'll ask you for a path name. The default path name is Path One. I'll choose that. Now click on Point below the target because I want the target to be at a point. Select Object. Now I want the target to be exactly at the center of the circular camera path. So Shift and right click to get the O Snap menu and choose Center and left click on the circle. Target name you can specify. I'll choose the default name as Point One. Next I can preview the animation. I'll click on preview and you can see that it is pretty fast because here the duration is very less. So you close this window. I'll change the duration from 1 second to 30 seconds. And when you change the duration to 30 seconds, here the number of frame changes to 900 and the frame rate is 30. That is number of frame per second. Now I'll change the display resolution to 800 by 600. So that will be relatively larger window. and you can preview it okay if you get a smaller window you can always expand to enlarge it now it is pretty smooth animation because i have increased the duration of animation you can see the representation of camera and it is moving along the circular path and you can see that it is facing the target which is fixed at the center of the circle you can just close it You can save it in any desired file format. You have AVI, MPEG, WMV. AVI is Microsoft standard which stands for audio video interleave. MPEG is another movie standard which is a compressed format. MPEG stands for motion picture export group. WMV is Windows Media Video. 
I'll choose AVI, which is a very well-known format, which is a Microsoft standard. And I'll change the resolution still higher to 1024 by 768. And corner deceleration is turned on to get a more smoother animation. I can also change the visual style to any desired style. It can be hidden, or realistic or shaded with edges. I'll choose shaded with the edges option and I'll give OK to render it. Now it'll ask you for a file name. I'll call it as house animation. And you will get the animation preview and the visual style of preview can also be changed on the fly. I'll click on shaded with edges option and you can see that here and that will affect only the preview. But in the final movie, we have chosen shaded with edges as the visual style. AutoCAD is creating the animation by rendering individual frames. Now it has completed rendering. Let's open the file on the desktop and check it. This is a house animation.avi file. I'll select right click. I'll open it with VLC media player or you can use any movie player. Now this animation is very smooth. And you will also get ample time to explain the various details about this project to the client. In fact, this is just a plain model. I haven't specified any materials. But if you want, you can specify materials in AutoCAD and you can choose the visual style as realistic to make the presentation more realistic. So the main advantage of this procedure is that the entire process of creating an animation can be done within AutoCAD and you don't need any other software for that. And it can be done very fast. It's a matter of few seconds. Now I want to send this file to the client's place. So when I check the file size, I realize that it is 126 megabytes. So it cannot be directly mailed, but you can WhatsApp it to the client. If you want to know the procedure to send large files through WhatsApp, please click on the link provided at the upper right corner of this video, as well as at the description section. So that's all for now. Until I catch you with another interesting video on AutoCAD, bye bye and take care. Please hit the like button of this video if you liked it and drop your valuable comments in the comment section. Thank you so much for your time.